The exhaled breath uh, volatile organic compound uh, research we're doing is with a company called Alstone Medical. And um, they have uh, got a platform uh, which they believe they can, in a very sensitive and specific way, identify a signature um, for, in, for the, in this study, the Lucid study, lung cancer. Um, now, we are recruiting uh, patients from a large number of sites, at the moment 21 sites, uh, both uh, within the UK and abroad. And so far, uh, we've recruited um, just under 2,000 patients. Um, and we're potentially going to run it up to 4,000 patients. Um, initially, we're sort of asking the question, okay, if you've got a big lung cancer, um, can we uh, see the signature um, compared with, as I said, with this uh, appropriate control group? Um, once you can detect the signature in a patient with um, a known lung cancer, that, you know, if you've got a large lung cancer the size of my fist in your lung, you can, you can imagine that's producing a lot of compounds which you're breathing out in your breath. However, can I detect a, you know, with this technique, um, a lung cancer the size of my little fingernail? That's a much tougher question. So what we've then got to do is work backwards to find out just how sensitive and specific this technology is. Because you don't necessarily need um, a biomarker to tell you that there's a tumour the size of your fist in the lung. That, that's often very evident on the, on the scans. Um, as I said, it's these nodules which are the far more challenging issue. Um, so I think uh, within this very large group of patients we're recruiting, nested within this uh, large cohort, will be a large number of patients with um, much smaller nodules. And then we can gradually work out you know, how sensitive and specific is the uh, technology, which of course is always advancing and improving. As you can imagine, the rapid advances these platforms have, things are constantly changing. Um, how sensitive and specific it is for these smaller nodules.